What's going on, YouTube fam? It's your boy, Dax. This is Trash Talk. You know what it is. And uh, we got a really good show today. Got some breaking news that we're going to do in the end. Um, if you are following my Instagram, which you should be, you will know that I have some information for you. It is Black History Month. I'm going to try to highlight a black player or something of some type of sport, something that someone had something to do with sports um, that uh, qualifies for the black history. And today is Mr. Eddie Hawkins, the first black soccer player in America, um, the first black uh soccer player in general that usually goes to Arthur Wharton. Um, he played in England. Uh, there was a trio and I got to kind of read this. I got my notes right here. I got to kind of read it. So y'all see me doing this, but, um, um, Andrew Watson, Robert Walker and Arthur Wharton were, um, kind of like the first guys to kind of break the barrier. They were called black footballers is what they were called in England. Um, but Eddie Hawkins was the first a African American, um, American born, um, you know, since, you know, that's our country that relates to us a little bit more, even though these guys were the ones that paved the way for Eddie to do it. But Eddie paved the way for a lot of guys. Uh, he was a New York native, um, starred as a midfielder, um, he played for the Washington Diplomats um, in 1980. Um, he decided to go to Hartwick College, um, where he led the Hawks in 1980 to an NCAA Final Four appearance. Um, then he, after that, appeared, appeared in the Miami Cup against Ecuador on December the 2nd, 1984. And um, that is when he officially broke the color barrier as the first black uh, soccer player to play for the United States men's national team. So uh, that was pretty cool. Um, so then after that, after playing his career, he launched Zen Foodie Soccer Academy, um, which was uh, disbanded uh, after uh, five years. So it started up in 2005. Um, he had a soccer academy. Um, he had some club programs. Um uh, he still kind of helps out and teaching kids soccer and stuff like that. So he goes through and he's still very active um, when it comes to soccer. Uh, but, you know, he just doesn't have the, you know, the training facilities and everything like that. Hawkins lives in uh, Chicago. He's got three kids. He's got a wife. Um, he's got a um, a uh, daughter that Arkla, Erka, Erka, Erka. Kind of hard to pronounce, but um, she played five seasons at Georgia State. Um, his other daughter played four seasons with women water polo on the national team. Um, so this is Eddie Hawkins. Eddie Hawkins is, and I'm going to post a picture on my Instagram of Eddie Hawkins so you will be able to know who he is and see what he looks like and stuff like that. You can go look him up. Um, he's going to be the guy of the day, Eddie Hawkins, first soccer player, United States, um, New York born, pretty cool, right? Um, so moving on into some of the breaking news. Now, I don't know who all of you are gamers. I don't know who all really care or whatever the case may be. It's always been a very big thing to me. So without further ado, EA announces today that NCAA college football, the video game, will be back in 2022, which is going to be awesome. Um, everybody loves NCAA. It's the pageantry, the, the, the tradition of the game, and you get to you know build your dynasty with your favorite schools and stuff like that. So it's going to be pretty cool. That's coming back. And then also on top of that, um, for my Falcons fans out there, um, we have gotten word today uh, that, and I'm going to retweet the tweet because his name is Tom Perlicello, I think is his name. He came out and said today that the Falcons have not been taking any uh, request or trades or anything like that for Matt and Julio. Matt and Julio will be here and will be Atlanta Falcons coming up this next season. So don't expect them to be going anywhere, which is great news for us because we don't have to worry about trying to get 
into a new quarterback system or, you know, uh, who's going to be the receiver or is Calvin going to be able to step up? You ain't got to worry about none of that. Julio's coming back. Hopefully Julio gets healthy and hopefully we can keep Julio healthy. And then after having that, you know you got the pros, pro of all pros, pros and Matt Ryan that's going to be locking it down. So let me know what you guys think. And if you have any ideas uh, for me when it comes to somebody to highlight for Black History Month, um, let it be kind of related to sports. But um, if you have anybody that you want me to talk about, let me know. I'll look it up for you and I'll bring it to you. As always, I love all y'all. Like, follow, and subscribe. It's your boy Dax Trash Talk. Peace.